so thank you sir thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, i don't have any financial uh, disclosure to be made actually and uh, again i would like to have a disclaimer i will not be showing any videos operated with uh, 3d who show off that it's a greater system okay straight away we will go this is a very famous dialogue or uh, the a message given to us by mahatma gandhi first whenever a new idea comes first they ignore you then they will laugh at you and then they fight you and you win so i think my fellow debater dr girish rao is in the third phase now is going to fight with me rather debate with me and at the end actually then he will learn with us and he will win actually and you win so this is uh, a first slide to make so when you take the life of uh, an ophthalmologist you become a uh, mbbs at 23 maybe if everything is fine ms at 27 years fellowship at 30 years and then you start doing high volumes in your 30s and what happens in the 40s with your uh, poor positioning while operating with the microscope uh, the analog microscope to underline and your indirect ophthalmoscope will be having back pain neck pain and what happens is you feel like retiring at the age of 40 or you will become less productive so this is what when you are operating uh see you can see how you sit your is in the heads down position and you will have to i mean what you call the uh, follow the uh, dictate made by the microscope and you are not at your liberty to position yourself so this is the problem with analog microscope almost uh, 60% will have musculoskeletal disorder which is attributed to the pro, i mean loss of productivity so this can be overcome so when you have a DABS, you have got a better ergonomics. You sit at your own comfort whenever you want. You just relax, stay back, and the most important point of this particular system is ergonomics. So you don't have any fatigue at the end of the day. So we keep talking to save the doctors from violence. So please procure this machine to save the doctors against fatigue also. So it will increase your, uh, I mean, uh, productivity. And second thing is why. You you want to have so many separate machines you can integrate everything in a single machine so when you have a davs system with anterior or posterior system you can find all the parameters on the uh, screen actually you don't need to every time look into the screen of your of, i mean the vitrectomy system to see what is my iop what is my illumination what is my flow rate everything will be displayed on the screen so when you integrate it's very easy to operate so it, this is another biggest advantage and the most important thing is see it is integrated to the cloud in the newer uh, operating system where you can operate in the op operating room and you can record and see in a remote system with the help of this clouding system another biggest advantage of this uh, what do you call the davs is i usually operate at 25% when you are operating with analog system you will have to use your light pipe at close to 100% it is like making your retina a tandoor actually so if you touch your uh, arm with your uh, what do you call the light pipe you can feel it will burn you after some time the same thing will be happening to your uh, retina so when i am operating i use only 25 to 30% almost cutting up nearly 50 to 70% of the light and thereby the heat emanated by that and also the phototoxicity so the phototoxicity induced by your analog because you are using a higher illumination is brought down by this system and thereby getting a better outcome and this is a better teaching tool you will be saying like you can teach with the analog connected to the what you call uh, uh, screen white screen you can say that but you know how we have been taught actually the indirect ophthalmoscopy there will be a side a mirror and the indirect ophthalmoscopy when the a uh, surgeon is uh, performing the indirect ophthalmoscopy and uh, retinal detachment will be prostrating on the ground to see what is there in the side mirror and he'll say oh this is a cd i don't know what i'll be saying i'll be saying yes i am seeing the cd so you and uh, the person who is learning is also having a very bad position see his legs and the neck and he will be not concentrating on what you are teaching so always teach them perfectly and clarity the purpose of teaching is not to i mean disseminate uh, your uh, skill or ideas you really don't know when you know uh, you need them because to fix your problem you will have to produce good students actually so produce them with clarity and a perfect thing because whatever you are operating the person also will be seeing with clarity and will be learning better the biggest funniest thing nowadays is the honey which comes with so i mean expiry date you cannot have an expiry date for a pure honey but humans also come with 
the expiry date what happens when you have cataract you are going to the operate on, to wind up on the last up. slide sir you will have to operate if you have a vision of 6 by 24 still you can operate without getting operated on your cataract you can still operate on the patient's eye so finally i'll say that this is how we were doing actually when uh, we were going to london in 1960s, there was a bus which was taking 130 days. Even if I'm forced to go to London by bus, I'll be taking a Scania, but not the older bus. And finally, I'll say the change is the only constant thing. You'll have to keep changing. And again, coming back to the same quote, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they learn from you, and then you win. That was told by Mahatma Gandhi. This was told by Jivatma Naresh. And thank you for the opportunity. Thank, thank you.